you where we bees at How'd I get my G pass? None of your fucking beeswax These raps Bring a joint together like a kneecap Fuck the little eight balls Show me where the keys at The time continuum Mortal Kombat finish them Trying to find a balance Reaching for my equilibrium Fools I pity them What's up YouTube? It's Rad Ricky and I'm back with another video And today I'm gonna be installing my y -Sab kit, um, so I'm gonna go over little things that went down. So the first time I was putting it, installing it, see these little things, snapped it right off. Um, so that's one thing that happened. All right, so you saw how this this one broke off. That's the broken piece, and this is the bottom piece. So basically it goes like this. Anyways, um, Rad Dan, shout out to him. He sent me new ones. I already put it on, which is over here. So see how this one's, I don't know why it's different. The newer ones are a little bit slimmer. They probably changed the design. I don't know, these are beefier though. Um, at the end of the day, it works. Also, I'm gonna explain why that happened. Um, the reason is because my coilovers, the bottom end of the coilover stance does not work with Wisefab uh, on Supras. I don't know if it's on other cars too, but the bottom end I'm talking about is this part that twist is off. This is a custom made one. Um, I'll show you guys the stock ones. Shout out to Dan for letting me know, but he kind of let me know a little bit late, but it's all right. Um, but yeah, so without those custom things, your coilovers would be too short and your car will be like super slammed. So those are extended ones. I'm about to show you the length difference right now. All right. So right here, these are the stock ones and these are the custom ones. Let me line it up at the bottom. I think that's about right. So as you can see, it's about two, two inches of difference. So this one would have been like up here, and that's why my wife fab was up by like two inches, and it just wasn't right. It fit weird. It was up more, so my car would have been slammed and. Yeah, I tightened stuff down and broke that little piece that I showed you guys. But it's alright. We got it fixed now, so we're about to go install it. Alright, so I know I haven't been vlogging lately. Um, car is still the same, nothing. Um, I haven't done anything to it. Oh yeah, I don't know if I put this in my last vlog, but I did install my rear suspension, so my coilovers are in, my rear arms, all my rear arms are in, um, and this is going to be my dual caliper setup, uh, just uh, I never went over that, but yeah, that's my dual caliper setup, everything's not bolted on, everything's still loose, I was just, I just picked up a whole SC300 subframe, because on this side, I have a little bit of play on this hub. So I still don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna just leave it in there and run it until it goes out completely or if I'm gonna use um, a spare hub that I have over there underneath the car and try to fix it. So yeah, we'll find out. All right, so back to the wise fab. Um, yeah, so this is installed, the lower arm, tie rods have been installed already, um, I keep saying I'm a lot, yeah, I noticed that, but, okay, so, yeah, lower arms are on, tie rods are on, both sides, and, let's see, yeah, so we're gonna get the coilover on right now, then this, than that, and we should have wife fab. I 
So fur. Only birds in my city is vultures. I mean, back before I could afford a faux fur. I was off in that debt, me and my mama. Hand me downs was the only time I got designer, man. Only class I'm passing is English and math. I don't know, maybe because. Alright, guys, so I just got done installing one side of Wise Fab. Um, took me a little bit longer than it should have because. Let me show you guys. Um, so, you guys remember that piece? This one? that broke off well this one wasn't broken but it got damaged um i don't know if you guys could see but underneath here you see that little like wave not the lip the little like warp in the middle um you guys can't really see it but there's like a little warp and it messed it up you could see it right there like that shine right there in the middle it got warped from tightening tight tightening it too hard so cuz i torqued it so yeah lesson learned don't torque this but good thing um dan sent me two two of them so i just replaced them um these look way way stronger than what they come so yeah those should be good um so everything's on there. I just need to tighten everything up. These are the Anchorman kit that come with it uh, for different settings. Uh, see, you could see how they don't line up. So yeah, I'll mount a wheel in a bit once I finish the other side. But this is some of the angle. And then back to the other side. Yeah, so it's crazy. I'm super hyped on this kit though. My first Wise Fab kit. I've owned I've owned a couple other angle kits, but haven't owned a Wise Fab, so I'm I'm stoked on this guys. Might not sell it after installing this, but <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go finish the other side and then yeah, I'll mount up a wheel. Don't got tires on right now, but I'll mount up a wheel and so we could see see what we're dealing with. But yeah, stay tuned, guys. All right, what's up, guys? I kind of got off track. I had a lot of things going on, and like I forgot to start vlogging again. But yeah, so I got the wise cap on. I still don't tighten it up all the way. I was messing with the alignment and then had to get my steering wheel straight. So, this is what I'm at right now. Test fitted the wheels. Um, pretty fucking wide. Oh my god, rip wheels! Fuck you haters, bro. Anyways, wise fab is on. Just gotta tighten everything up gonna be pretty fucking wide it's gonna be sick though I'm excited but yeah I just wanted to show you guys and then the angle there's the angle right there pretty crazy 
All right, I'll probably get this question asked, so I'm gonna just get it out the way. If I recommend this Wise Fab kit or not, um, if you're gonna daily drive your car and it's just it's not competition, if it's not competition, um, I don't recommend it. I would just go with Power by Max or um, Drift Knuckles or whatever other brand, uh, whatever they're called and. There's also the Unicorn um, Angle Kid. There's so many other options that are just as good for a way cheaper price. Um, WiseFab, I see it more as a competition. Um, the reason I went with WiseFab is because other brands don't really make um, super kits. But yeah, that's my thoughts about that. But yeah, so that's the angle. It's pretty crazy. It's not like, oh my god, it's fucking crazy. Cause like, I had other kits and they were pretty, pretty close to similar. So, for the money, I don't know if it's really worth it. But I got it. It's already said and done. So, whatever. Um. Also, prepping the fenders, I already cut them. Bumpers out, I cut the, some access that's over here. It was just a big ass flap. So I cut that out, saved some weight on the bumper cause it was pretty heavy. But other than that, I'm prepping that, getting that ready. And then, yeah, I'll paint those tonight and then I'll do another vlog tomorrow. All right guys, so with that said, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching if you got this far. Um, stay tuned for the next video, which should be tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see how the car turns out. All right, peace guys.